Happy Yuri's Night, 2011. You know, Yuri Gagarin circled the Earth above the atmosphere, had to jump out of his capsule on the way down in 1961. So it was 50 years ago. On that, you know, April 12th, uh, that day, you know, humanity changed. We became a species that was no longer confined to, to the Earth. What people used to dream about came true. The reality is in those 50 years, human beings have fulfilled a ambition that's existed in the human spirit for thousands of years before. Space exploration brings out the best in us, brings out the best in humans. I think that that orbital perspective that you get when you look down at this you know, planet hanging in the blackness of space is something that can't help but to affect you in some way. I think that the, the concept of planet Earth is coming from human space. Our future is global. I think back about you know that Christmas Eve where we, for the first time, we saw an Earth rise on the on the lunar horizon. You know, I I think the way we looked at our planet, the way we looked at ourselves, changed forever. We're all in this together. We're all riding through this spaceship uh, through the, through the universe that we call planet Earth, and it's something that we need to take care of, and we need to take care of each other. But it really put a focus on who we are as a species, who you know, who we are as inhabitants of, of planet Earth. Fifty years ago, they knew not only the dream, but how hard it was going to be to accomplish the dream. Uh, Yuri Gagarin went to space not being positive that he would be able to return alive. Uh, most of the people who followed him in the early days had the same understanding, that there was no guarantee. Just think what the next 50 years are going to be. It's going to be, if I may, unrecognizable in, in a cool way. Well, I think that the transition that will mark the next 50 years is that we will go from placing representatives of our species in orbit to placing human society in orbit. This is going to be the challenge for the next 50 years, not just the technology of moving people and their machines to great distances, but finding out how human beings will interrelate with each other in an environment where they are definitely dependent on each other uh, and in a a uh, set of circumstances totally different from the ones in which we evolved as a species. I hope that that includes, you know, establishing uh, outposts in different parts of the solar system, maybe starting with the moon, we have asteroids, Mars, uh, and, and someday, you know, going beyond our solar system with human exploration. We need the dream, we need to work hard, we need to plan, and we need the dare. If the opportunity comes up, I'll, I'm going.